Hello everyone and welcome to episode 106 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. Uh, before we move on to the next patrol mission in um, the With Friends Like These storyline, which is this one, uh, Nanipil? Na no, that's a, that's an A, is this? Uh, uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I want to show you guys something. I picked this up over the weekend, uh, and it's this here, this treble, which is a cannibal treble. And every one of my tunes on my main account has a cannibal treble in uh, the inventory. And they're very, very useful. Um, basically, as the name suggests, they will consume or eat any other treble that is in your inventory. And you will end up with a treble carcass. Um, if you are on the KDF side, you can trade in the Tribble Carcasses for Gold Pressed Latinum. But, as I'm sure you already know, if you have a Tribble, any other Tribble in your inventory and there's food in your inventory, or if you have it in your bank and there's food in your bank as well, they will multiply. After one hour, you'll have two Tribbles. After another hour, you'll have four. After another hour, you'll have eight. And it just blows up like that. Um, now, I got this Tribble from doing a duty officer assignment, and if I go back into my assignment log here, and I go all the way down to the bottom, I got it from doing this Confiscate Contraband from Crew. Um, this isn't the actual one, because I got a different uh, Tribble from that, which I actually discarded. But that's where I got it. I, I actually did get it from uh, that duty officer mission. You can pick them up in the um, exchange. Uh, all you have to do is type in cannibal and you will uh, get a list of all available cannibal tribbles that are available on the exchange. They can also be bred. Uh, the way that works is that you'll find a guide on the internet if you just google um, tribble feeding guide or something like that. Uh, you should come across it. And you have to feed certain foods to certain types of tribbles and it will result in a different type of tribble. Um, so yeah, there, there is a way of breeding a cannibal tribble, uh, you just have to follow the guide. Um, or if, like me, you look out and you get it off the confiscate uh, contraband from crew doff mission. Um, but yeah, since I got one, I wanted to show it to you guys and just point out that it is very useful to have. Um, and uh, yeah, you can um, always keep it in your inventory. Actually, did I? Uh, maybe I put that triple on a bridge officer. Can't remember. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I suppose something else I could say about tribbles is, if you put a triple into one of your device slots, either on you, on your character, or any of your bridge officers, um, usually when you uh, pet a triple. Uh, it, it'll be it'll become an ability down here in your tray. Um, it gives some sort of a buff or something like uh, certain tribbles um, uh, will, you know, give you a, a damage buff, for example. Anyway, um, yeah, that's something that you you guys can check out yourselves. Uh, in the meantime, we will jump in here now and uh, we'll get the next uh, mission done. Now, this map looks very different from most other maps that we've been in. Hilda Hazari. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. I don't think there's any more around us. Elon ship is here beside us as well. Ah. Getting a notification that my system wants to restart. I hope that doesn't happen now. Right in the middle of this mission. Shield failing. 
So I think this is it, really. We just have to fend off five different waves of enemy ships that uh, will eventually come in here. Yeah, looks like that's all it is. So, pretty easy. Let's see what happens when you have all five defeaters. really feel the extra damage that we're getting from uh, these consoles, the very rare ones that I picked up from the featured episode, making a um, nice, uh, nice boost to our overall damage output. Um, that's actually something uh, in the next uh, episode, uh, next couple of episodes I'm actually going to do is going to upgrade to fleet gear. Um, and trust me when I say that your tactical consoles have to come from a fleet. Fleet tactical consoles simply are the best in game and that is not something that can be said about that many items um, in Star Trek Online. There is very few things that you can say this is the best. Um, an awful lot about the game is just getting the right combination of many different things and uh, yeah just combining you know weapons um, uh, space gear, consoles, traits, uh, all that sort of stuff, getting the right combination. Um, so, yeah, y you see it all the time, like, you know, what's the best ship? There is no best ship. Um, you know, you can make any ship work, really. Anyway, that's the end of that mission. So, we got some Delta Marks, we got some Delithium, and we got some expertise. We can leave. And, um, do you know what? I'm going to leave it there for this episode because I'm afraid my system is actually going to restart any seconds. Uh, I think there's a 10 minute timer on it. Um, so, yeah, uh, the next episode we will finish off this mission uh, with friends like these. Uh, we'll end up down here and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, complete that mission. So, um, yeah, thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care.